Hi everybody. Okay, so I'm back really quick with the video. Um, this is gonna be a review of the Kirkland Signature brand brush set. And Kirkland Signature is basically Costco brand. And every year they come out with a brush set, makeup brush set. And I pick it up every year. It's like my third year picking it up. And I'm really excited to try this out. Um, I haven't tried them on my face yet, but I've gone through them and read the little pamphlet. Some of them are natural hair, some of them are synthetic. Um, but the best thing about the brushes is that they came, it's like they took note of, of what to get, of like what brush to create this year based off what other um, brush companies were doing. And I was really excited about that. I love Costco. I stay in Costco. But <laughs> it's a 10-piece brush set. And this is what it looks like. And it's $24.99 at Costco. This is just an initial review. This is not a, an actual review. I'm just going off what I'm looking at. Okay. So first up is going to be the Oliver Powder Brush. Uh, it's, I'm not going to go into which, which one is natural or not. Um, it's really prickly though. But when you, I guess when you swirl it on, it's not that big of a deal. So, but 10 brushes for $24.99 is kind of a big deal anyway, because a single brush can be $25. But this, yeah, I'm not, too much, not much to say about that one. But then a stippling brush, when this one is for finishing. And if you guys remember, Mac, Studio Tools, and Sonya Cash, you both have brushes like this. I don't own any Sigma brushes, and I don't own any Coastal Sense brushes. I just go with in my distance, like what's, what's on ground. I don't like ordering brushes online. But um, it's dual fiber. I think one is part of it is synthetic, the other part is uh, natural. And it's really soft, really good to just smear off, uh, smear off, to put on the highlight or to put on your uh, MSFs. So I can't wait to try this out. And for what I'm feeling, this is really, really soft. And soft is always a good deal. Then there's a brown, um, the foundation brush. And this is new, this new concept now with the angled foundation brush, I guess, to get into the corners or the crevices with cream or uh, liquid foundations but I haven't tried it yet and it seems like it'll be a lot of work so we'll see um, yeah then the flat top uh, blush brush and this reminds me of the Sonia Kashuk and the elf flat top brushes so I most likely will use this for a foundation it's a little prickly but when you swirl it on it's, it doesn't hurt and yeah, it looks like it's going to shed, though. I haven't washed any of these yet, but if you see that, it's all over the place, like, it's sticking out. But, we'll see. Moving on to the crease brush. And this reminds me of the Sonia Kashuk brush I have. I used the concealer, and this is it right here. So, I actually use this, that brush for, for concealer. It's kind of, it's a little too big for my crease. Yeah, so I might use this for concealer. Then you have the angled eye brush, and this is essentially um, a flat top angled brush. And I guess this is where you would put it in your crease, just to pack the color on, and then swoosh it in to get it um, to blend it out. Excuse me, my kids are in the back here acting a fool. But yeah, angled eye brush. Then you have the actual shader brush, and. I never really use these to pack on my eyeshadow. I usually just use it to like touch up stuff or like put um, my tear duct colors in. That's what I really use the shader brushes for. Then you have a flat eyeliner brush, which could be used for lining the eyes, top or waterline, top or bottom waterlines, or filling in your brows. So you never have, can never go wrong with those. Then it has this little fan highlight brush. It's a highlighting fan. That's exactly what it's called, and it's really soft. Um. I guess you would take it and just brush it up. And this is what it looks like. It's really soft. And I would assume that this is natural here. And then the big thing I want to talk about, what I've heard a lot about from many different people, is a contour kabuki brush. And the best thing about this is that it's angled. And I always hear about the kabuki, and um, you just swirl in your powder foundations or mineral or your setting powders. And since I use cream and liquid foundations, I guess I could use it as a contour with my contour powder. But then I really don't contour. I don't know how to figure it out because I don't really wear powder uh, make foundation. 
but I thought it was really neat and it's extremely soft extremely extremely soft it reminds me of the Too Faced Teddy um, Kabuki brush they sell at Sephora and this came in a pack at Costco for $25 so yeah I don't even know how much that brush retails probably $20 to $30 just for this brush alone um, for the Too Faced one but that's it and then the best thing about it it comes in this faux crocodile um, purple lavender cut purple deep purple it's not lavender clutch but it's a brush roll for travel and it has the flap to cover your brushes then it has the take out um, brush what is this mesh bag to put some products in uh, your makeup I guess whatever you need but it looks like a little clutch bag and you can never go wrong with clutches um, they're essential to every girl's wardrobe right so that's basically it with the Costco brushes. Um, like I said, this is just an initial review. I'll go back in and let you guys know how they work for me when I get a chance to dig in them and work, use them. And so that's essentially it. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Um, I'll put pictures on my blog, so be sure to check out my blog. And thanks, everybody, for watching. Bye.